Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create a new database in OpenOffice Base and how to create a table using Table Wizard. Let's see with practical example here. Just open the OpenOffice, click on the double click on the OpenOffice and you will, you will get the options like this, text document, spreadsheet, drawing and uh, database. We are just going to create a database, so click on the database and it will create a database wizard. From here, you will get the two options, two radio buttons, create a new database and open an existing database file. Create a new database means you are going to create a fresh database and open an existing database means you have already created a database. You want to open that created database. Now I'm just going to select the first option to create a new database. Now I'm just going to click on the next button and uh, you will get here yes register the database for me and uh, open the database for editing you leave it as it is and then click on the finish okay here you need to write your database name i'm just going to write my database name as a new database 31 and then click on the save okay now this is the view of your open office base and uh, now you will get the database window here you will get the tabs like table queries forms and reports i'm just going to work on the table so i'm just select the table tabs and uh, now you will get the right pane as a create table in design view use wizard to create table and create view i'm just going to use the wizard to create a table and in the next session we will discuss create table in design view now i'm just going to click or double click on the use wizard to create table okay now it will open the table wizard and here you will get the two categories business and personal whatever your needs according to your needs select the category i'm just going to take a simple demo for the business so i'm just taking the simple tables as a invoice okay invoice is my table name and uh, i'm just going to uh, select some field from here just like this customers and you need after selection just click on this button to select the fields okay now customer id selected fields and uh, second option is invoice id and just click on the this button and then ship date click on this button and uh, okay it's okay now you can also select the invoice date here and uh, click on this button i have selected four fields for the invoices table and uh, now click on the next in the next step you have need to give the field information like this is the field name as a customer id and uh, the field type means the type of the field is integer type and auto value and entry required no and no we will discuss all these things in the later video session and uh, now select the invoice id it is also integer, integer type and uh, look here ship date date is a date type and uh, invoice date is a also date type so you don't have need to change anything and just click on the next button and you will look here create a primary key automatically add a primary key the table wizard automatically add a primary key but if you want to according your need just select the second radio button use an existing field as a primary key and uh, select the field name from here just uh, select here the customer id and now i'm just going to click on the next button and uh, what do you want to name your table my table name is uh, invoices and insert data immediately means when i will click on the finish it will open the view to enter where your records just click on the finish button and now it is open the table for entering the data i'm just going to write here some random data customer id is a one invoice id as a 101 ship date as a 12 12 
2020 and I'm just right here the 12 12 12 12 2020 and uh, save it okay my first record record is saved in the invoice table and now I'm just going to click here to close this and look here this is my invoice table represented here and just when you click on the invoice table double click it will open your records if you want to add more records you just click here and enter your data and save it in this way today we are discuss how to create a new database and how to create a table using wizard to create a table thank you friends thanks for watching my video thanks a lot